working with state-of-the-art ships, submarines and aircraft, complex electronics, massive gas turbines and nuclear reactors, as an engineer in the Royal Navy, you'll be responsible for some pretty big kit. I don't know many jobs where I'm trusted with hundreds of million pounds worth of equipment. You're always somewhere different, doing something different and seeing something different. One minute you could be doing maintenance down, down here on, on weapons, the next minute you could be working on sonars. You never get the same job over and over again. You could work in one of three different areas, weapons, marine or aviation. The weapons are what make a warship, a warship. We're responsible for all the weapons, uh, all the sensors, the radars, all the communication systems on board. When we're on operations, we need to maintain a constant readiness state. Maintaining the weapons or loading the weapons, or it could be preparing to fire. Being a weapons engineer as well, it's, it's what every little kid wants to do, is, is, is essentially play with big things and blow things up. So. The marine engineers are the ones that keep the lights on, that make the ship move through the water. The marine engineer and technician has two main roles. One is maintaining verse osmosis plants to produce fresh water, to diesel generation and an electricity production. The rest of the day will be spent on watch in the ship's control centre. The flip side of that is when things gone wrong, got to carry out fire preps and things like that. Right, ladies and gents, stand up, pick all equipment with you. When we're at sea, my primary role will be looking after the nuclear reactor, which provides us energy for all our propulsion systems, and it also um, provides us energy to generate all our own electricity. At sea, there is no one else to help us. So we have to get that bit of equipment fixed and up and running, I guess. On a day-to-day -day basis, if the aircraft are flying, we will service them before and after flights, changing wheels, changing engines, changing blades. Yeah. So when we're at sea, and it will generally be looking at the issues that have come up on the aircraft, um, how we can rectify them, looking at what big maintenance is coming up, when we can do it, and get the aircraft ready to fly. I like the big jobs. I like getting involved with the actual repair of the aircraft. When you can get in amongst things that are a bit more technical, it, it poses a challenge. It's not just about maths and spanners, you've got to be able to go and talk to people, get involved and find out what's going on. You get to know people a lot better and a lot quicker than you do with a job ashore. Whether it's on board a ship or submarine, at an airbase or deployed somewhere around the world, you'll be at the heart of keeping the Royal Navy operational and ready for action. <laughs>